Okay, Darth Vader. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome in, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy. if you're new here, it's so good to have you here. Today we are watching Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 7, 42. The last episode, the Lazarus experiment, was really fun. We got to see a little bit more of Martha's family, including her mother, who was now extremely scared and cautious of the doctor for whatever reason, whoever that guy was that told her something. But then we also, on the other hand, got to meet her sister and see what a nice relationship they have and how even the sister put her life at risk to help out Martha in the end. So I thought that was a really nice insight. I am really curious on when we will see Martha's family again, especially her mother, to see why she thinks the doctor is so dangerous or truly, truly fearful, which, I mean, to be fair, is the doctor dangerous? Yeah. <laughs> he also doesn't put people into danger, which I'm kind of getting the impression that that's what she was told, that he is one of those kinds of people, which he's not. 42, this, I literally have no idea what it could be about. It's a number. It could mean anything. Maybe even going to the year 42. I have no idea. So we're just going to go ahead and get into it. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Of course, a thumbs up is appreciated too. Also on my Patreon, I'm four weeks ahead. So if you're interested in both early access and full length reactions, you can check out my link for that in the description below. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh, that looks like a Razer flip phone. Is that what it was? Because those phones used to be the coolest. Time on the mobile. Well, you know the area code. <laughs> Frequent flyers privilege. Oh, right. They've also officially committed to more than just one more trip. Working at full pelt when it cooled down. Uh, wherever it is we are. You don't know where we are? Yeah, well, who are you? Oh my god. You know, this actually reminds me of Firefly already. I don't really know what's going on here, but it's kind of reminiscent of an episode of Firefly. 42 minutes until we crash into the sun. 42 minutes until you <laughs> crash into the sun. Oh. Um, okay, so I see now the significance of the number 42 for today's episode title. This is terrifying. Last time we saw the sun, we sent some dude that was the personification of Satan in there. Hope that guy's doing all, all right. Oh my god. It's our lifeboat. It's lava. Going mad in there. Up 3, degrees in 10 seconds. Well, surely the TARDIS will be all right through that, right? But we just can't get to it. Dang, we've already wasted two minutes. You're a long way from home, Martha. Half a universe away. Yeah, feels it. And you're still using energy. Half a universe? It's interesting that Martha's so calm in this. That was an interesting response, how she was just like, yeah, feels like it. I feel like we're starting to see more of her confidence and personality. Defeated before you even started. Where's your Dunkirk spirit? Who's got the door? Marcus? Yeah, we can't do anything with that attitude. Oh, they're being nice to each other. <laughs> What's happening? Is he okay? Can't help me. He's burning me. What's burning you? What's happening? Andy's just sabotaged our ship. What? He went mad. Oh, he went mad. Interesting. Oh, we'll open your eyes for me a second. I can't. Yeah, of course you can. Go on. Don't make me look at you. Don't make me look at you. What happened to him? Well, that's something. Well, someone tell me what is the matter hmm. with him? Some sort of infection. Well, no more. <gasps> An infection? Is it going to be contagious? Oh my god. As if driving into the sun wasn't enough. Any questions? Uh, yeah. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Classic. I like that people are asking that more this season. 
because it's such a satisfying thing to experience people asking doctor who who doctor who is get it wrong the old system freezes better not get it wrong then okay. something in me wants to say that he's gonna get the infection next just because he's alone with martha i could see that happening yes! 28, more go. <laughs> 28 more that's a long time for him to potentially get sick uh oh <gasps> he doesn't seem totally sedated. Oh no, he's getting up. Uh oh, that's gonna be something to deal with. Three seven nine. What? It's a sequence for Happy Prime. Three seven nine. Happy Primes? What does Happy Primes even mean? Yield one is a happy number. Any number that doesn't isn't a happy prime. Is a number that's both happy and prime. Now type it in. Oh, okay, he said that way too fast. I've never heard of a happy prime. Of course, I've heard of a prime number. Classical music. Who had the most pre-download number ones? Elvis Presley <laughs> or... Oh my god, it literally is like a pub quiz. No, the Beatles. No, wait, um, um... Oh, oh good. Our time travel doesn't even remember. Now, where was I? <laughs> Here comes the sun. No, resources, so... Here comes the sun. You would think that the time traveler, you know, would know all these answers. Where are you? Don't you check your messages. I've been calling you. Actually, oh my god, wait, this is so no. funny. She's literally phoning a friend. It's like she's playing Jeopardy. When did you get so rude? I'll tell you when. Ever since you met that man. That's not it. Pub quiz? Yeah, pub quiz. Using your mobile is cheating. If only the phone was hooked up to the internet as well. It's changing? Oh, and he's up. He's up. But his eyes are so close. That's scary. Urgent assistance requested. Urgent assistance. This no longer reminds me of Firefly. Just the facts and in the very beginning when the engine was dead and they were gonna die soon. What's happening to you? Whoa! With me. Whoa! Wait. With me. Whoa! God, that was scary. His eyes turning bright white. What did he do? Okay, Darth Vader. <laughs> Many connections I'm making this episode. Oh my god. Whoa. Sorry? Endothermic vaporization. Oh my god. That's what he did to her? I've never seen one this ferocious. That's insane. Internal temperature 100 degrees. Body oxygen replaced by hydrogen. Your husband. Oh, right. They're talking Celsius. <laughs> 100 degrees is like a slight fever <laughs> in Fahrenheit. In Celsius, it's much, much hotter. He killed Abilona. Oh, that is so sad for her as his wife to say to everyone. Captain. Irina, go back here with that equipment. I really hope that nobody else gets infected. Go there. Oh, back. she's not going to get infected. She's about to be attacked by Corwin, though. I can feel it. Please kill me now. Oh, should not have said that, girl. Be careful what you wish for. Oh, my God. God, that's terrifying. The parasite's too aggressive. Your husband's gone. Oh, there's no way back. Sorry. Yikes. At least she knows the truth. That's rough. And at least the doctor is someone that will tell her the truth. And why is this thing so interested in you? Hmm. Now that is a good question. Hmm. What could it be? Oh. Oh my god. He's picking them off like flies. They're getting too far? What do you mean? Why are you... Oh! 
We, we must share the light. So I think he's infecting him, right? And now there will be two of them going around. Ashton, what are you doing? Come with me. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Y'all better run. <laughs> it's actually so much like Darth Vader. It's funny. Nothing like an air filtering mask to bring me back to my Star Wars roots. Oh. That's what I said. Like flies. Dropping. My god. This password thing is insane. The what sequence? Who? <gasps> Girl, get out of there. It's not your husband anymore. What did you do to him? What have you done to my husband? Oh no. Corbin. You know me. Be careful. It's Kath. She's gonna die. I don't trust this. It's her fault? What did she do? Or why does it want her? What do you want? Whoa! That zoom in. It's your fault. Now burn with me. No. <gasps> Whoa! Genius move, guy. That was smart. This isn't going to affect the doctor. <laughs> huh? That affected him as well? Interesting. Jettisoning pod. What? Jettisoning pod? wouldn't be able to read those lips either. He's not making them, except for the last one, you. But otherwise, he's just dropping his jaw. Oh my god, the silence. Oh my god. His face. <gasps> this is terrifying. Sorry. Sorry, you got nothing to apologize for Martha my god this is terrifying what is he supposed to do what did you mean your fault yeah what did he mean what are you doing don't touch him he's infected we don't know how it spreads you murdered him and I saved you you're welcome well, go on do what he says Ashton's still out there I'll deal with him yeah we need more information on why they're after her anyway our oh, heat shields will pack in any minute, and then we go into free fall. Oh my god. This is too scary. I haven't seen my mom in six years. Oh, this is sad. There's no silence there. There's so much noise. Oh. I'll just have disappeared. And it'll always be waiting. Ugh. That's rough. Call them. I don't want that for her. Call them. Oh, calling them. I'm not sure that's a good idea, <laughs> but it's an interesting one. Whoa. She's gonna just take him with her hands as a weapon? That's wild. She's very strong for that. Oh, she's freezing him. Oh, God. Wow. Wild. So will you listen? They're too far away. It's too late. I'm not gonna lose her. Hmm. No, we're not. We can't. It's weird seeing him in like a space suit again. That two-parter, like the pit and whatnot. That was such a good arc of Doctor Who. Hello. Me again. Sorry about earlier. Don't Martha. Right. Yeah. Oh no. This is painful. Brought this on. I never say it. Never get the time. <laughs> no, this is so sad. Tell 
Who are you? Mother, what's wrong? Who is that? They're trying to find her. What you watched on telly last night, how much are you going to kill dad next time you see him? Just anything. Oh, this is awful. Is he there now? Mum, just leave it. It's a simple enough question. It's also rough when Martha thinks she's about to die and her mom is like interrogating her. Uh, no, Martha, wait. See you, Mum. So they were trying to find her. Surely, right? Don't worry. The doctor's gonna save you against all odds. Somehow he will. Oh, he just needs to reach that? Come on. Your son? <laughs> Are we gonna find out why this thing's after the woman? I still really want to know that. Yeah, come on. You can do it. Ooh, almost there. Nice. Now what? What does he need to do? Pull it. Okay. Nice. Wow. Amazing. He really did it. Whoa. What is that? Yeah. What is it? It's alive. Um. This is strange. God, we have less than nine minutes. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. Yes, why is it her fault? Please elaborate. Oh. Oh. They stooped on its heart, used it for fuel, and now it's streaming! Oh my god. Who would have thought that? Oh my god. Humans! You grab whatever's nearest and bring it dry! You're not wrong, unfortunately. Wow, that's a really fascinating concept, though. And that's not gonna kill him? Okay, so it wasn't like, I mean, it's it was her fault for not scanning for life, but it wasn't like she was uh, a bad person on purpose. Mm, what's going on with Corwin? How is he getting back up? Oh my god. <laughs> Classic security questions. Did I say orange? And was it with a capital or not? Okay, I guess we'll have to trust. Ten seconds? Wow. I'm so scared. Oh, he's scared. And he's like never scared. Okay, can you guys turn the thing on? We just gotta do it. Oh, Jesus. Poor both of them. But poor Martha for having to do that. That's psychological torture like having to hear yourself hurt the doctor even though you know that you're saving him oh, inactive oh no <gasps> you're choking what do we do oh my god you better fix this this mess that you made no we can't do that. What they took, Doctor! Please go! What? We really have to? Oh no. She couldn't get to it. Oh no. Oh my god, you're joking? She's like. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't think he would see her. I was very optimistic. 
Oh, what she's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we get another shot of somebody going to the sun. That's wild. Oh no. God, this is torture. <laughs> Zero percent. Jeez. What? What do you mean? Burn with me. No. Burn with me, no. What do we do? Jeez, his screams. This is all so much. Fifty-eight seconds. What? I mean, we have nothing else that we can possibly try to do, so might as well do that. Uh, that's like a really, really, really crazy thing to do <laughs> in this situation. <gasps> it's working, though. Whoa, ew. The way that his eyes just look like gave me total body chills in not a good way. The heebie-jeebies, one could say. Wow. Wow. So it did work. Yeah. Make sure he's okay. Although I'm pretty sure he is. Aww. <laughs> I'm so happy they're both okay. That was so much pain to watch a doctor go through though. Just tell them. That son needs care and protection just like any other living thing. Aw, yeah. And let's make sure to scan everything first. No chance I'll see you again? Not really. It was Aww. nice. He wanted his first girlfriend to be Martha. I reckon you'll find someone worth believing in. I think I already did. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Guy standing in the background. Well done. Very hot. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Now, what do you say? Oh, classic. He doesn't really want to share how he's doing. By the way, you'll be needing this. <gasps> Her own key? Let's go. What are you doing tonight? Why don't you come round? I'll make something nice and mm. catch up. Is it a trap? See you later. Love you. Hmm. This is a trap. But who? Who are those guys? These people. Is that all? For now. They're taking even her phone for evidence? Thanks for all you're doing, Mrs. Jones. Mr. Saxon will be very grateful. Who is Mr. Saxon? Obviously someone after the doctor, but why? Friends, thank you so much for watching Doctor Who Season 3, Episode 7 with me. I thought that was really cool. I mean, I was on my connections kick, making connections to Firefly, Star Wars, and even another Doctor Who episode that we've seen. I thought it was it was kind of cool because we don't really think of planets as being alive so that was a really really cool and unexpected concept with an important lessons to humans that obviously it's a living organism but you know that's something that we don't really connect with like living beings and sentient and feeling etc now Martha's mom is up to something with whoever Mr. Saxon is and obviously they're after the doctor. I'm thinking somebody in the government, like since they have all this kind of access, it's almost like the FBI, but it seems more private than that, like just under whoever the heck Mr. Saxon is. And I'm guessing they either want to apprehend him, like put him in jail forever, 
or they might even want to use the doctor as like a weapon in a way. So I'm really curious to learn more about that. Again, thank you so much for watching with me and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.